Hey guys and welcome back to CanCode. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you how you can move a sprite in Scratch. So here we just have this sprite that we have the cat and I'm just going to call this player and today I'm just going to teach you how you can use the arrow keys to move this guy around the screen. So it's going to be very very simple. What you can do is you can go to events. This is the yellow circle tab thing here and we're going to drag out this first block that says when flag clicked. What this block does is it basically says that when you click the flag, then it does whatever comes after this. And we can snap blocks after this to make it actually happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the control tab here, this orangish circle, and we're going to grab this forever loop. What this does is it says whatever happens inside of here will happen forever. So basically, when we click the flag, it's going to forever do what's inside of here. And don't get scared of forever because you can just stop with this stop button here and it's just going to stop the script. Your scratch probably does not have this pause button I have here so just do not worry about that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this if statement. Now what this block does is it says if what happens inside of this little spot here then do it's inside of this spot here. But if this stuff inside of here is not true then it's just going to not do the stuff inside of here. But it's actually pretty simple really so let's just get into it. So we're going to put this block inside of the forever loop, and it's going to be forever checking to see what's inside of here. Now what's inside of here? Well, we're going to go into sensing here, this blue tab, and we're going to grab a key pressed, and we're going to put that inside. Now we're going to click this, and we're going to say the up arrow. So now if the up arrow key is pressed, then it's going to do what's inside of here, but otherwise, just don't. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the motion tab, which is more of a darker blue, and we're going to scroll down until we have we find this change x by and change y by. What's going to do is we're going to say uh, change y by maybe like 10 inside of this up arrow. So now if the up arrow is pressed, then it's going to change y by 10. Otherwise, it's not going to. So now we're going to duplicate this if statement by right clicking right here and clicking duplicate. Now we're going to change the up arrow to down arrow and change the change y by from 10 to minus 10. What this is going to do is it's going to say when you press the down arrow, it's going to change the y by minus 10. The y is just this position up and down. So basically, if you're changing a y by a positive number, it's going to go up. And if it changes it by a negative number, it's going to do go down. And the higher the number, the more it's going to go up or down. So we're now going to attach this underneath the up arrow. Now we're going to duplicate both of these and we're going to attach both of these underneath now. Now we're going to change this one to right arrow and we're going to take out this change y by. Now we're going to change this to left arrow and we're going to get rid of this. Now we're going to change the x by 10 for the right arrow and that's going to move it to the right. Now if we change the x by minus 10 in the left arrow, it's just going to make it go to the left. So now what we can do is we can click the flag and see this script in action. When we press the up arrow, it goes up. The down arrow, it goes down. The right arrow, it goes to the right. And with the left arrow, it goes to the left. Now we can press these keys and it will go move around at this speed. Now we can change these values to say 5, minus 5, 5, and minus 5. And now it's going to go at a slower speed. You can change the exact speed you want and that's how you do it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.